The views and opinions expressed in this program are those of the participants and do not necessarily reflect the views of BronxNet or the program underwriters. Hi, well, welcome to today's verdict. I'm your host and trial attorney, David Lesh. We have a great show today. The viewers have sent in uh, requests and we are happy to oblige. We also have uh, a well-known defense attorney, Jeff Miller, on the show. He's going to be discussing what it's like from a defendant's perspective in terms of the insurance companies, in terms of giving money out uh, during the pandemic, as opposed to being able to try cases. Uh, as you can see, we have a lot to get to, so stay tuned. Today's verdict starts right now. All right, uh, we are pleased to have with us today a Jeffrey Miller, the executive partner at a Pillinger, Pillinger Miller, who I, by the way, know personally, and we're very lucky to have on the show today. Jeffrey, how are you doing today? Excellent. Thanks for having us, David. It's my pleasure. All right, so we've been on opposite ends of, uh, of some cases before, so we're, you know, we're, we're fairly familiar with the kind of work we do. In the past, um, my experience has been, in terms of insurance monies, it, it, sometimes insurance companies are, are not so easily you know, dispensing of their funds, rightly or wrongly, because they, they hold the, the monies and they are able to keep their monies and invest it and make monies themselves. But things have been changing. Am I correct? And at least it looks like with the COVID pandemic, cases are starting to settle. Why don't you tell the, um, the, view, tell the viewers a little bit about how things have changed? There's no question. You're absolutely right, David. And thanks for having us. We're gonna go over six things you must know about settling cases during this pandemic. And the carriers are ready. They want to move cases. Well, was there an impetus? Was there something in particular, Jeff, that came along that made some of the carriers say, all right, this is a great time to, to move the backlog? Or, or was it just a change in philosophy? Or maybe it was both. I really think that the unfortunate situation of COVID and the slowdown in the judiciary and the furloughs and the court personnel have made the carriers realize that they're not going to be able to get the help from the judiciary and the courthouses to move their cases. So they're relying on defense counsel, plaintiff counsel, such as yourself, to move these cases now. Now, there's particular cases, though, I think that you've been dealing with that are ripe. What types of cases are they? Certainly. You know, Bill and Jamila Tarallo is a regional firm that has offices in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and as well as Walnut Creek, California. We do all civil tort litigation, everything from workers' comp to asbestos and everything in between. And we've had great success, especially in the auto, premises slash habitational, construction, bar, tavern, restaurant cases recently over this past year in the mediation mode in getting rid of our cases. All right, let's get right into it. Let's talk about um, some of the, the, the ways that you and your firm go about moving these types of cases and why you have been so successful uh, over the last six to nine months. Great, thanks. This is gonna be point one. You must know, carriers are craving settlements. We touched on it a little earlier. And as a side note, Pillinger Miller Duralo just resolved 1,250 cases during this COVID. I mean, that's a crazy number. That's more than some judge, judges total dockets. We're joined at the hip with counsel such as yourself, the, the carriers, and we're in the resolution business. That's what we're here to do. You know, and I know most of these cases settle. 98% of these cases settle. Another 2% through trial or motion practice. We're in the resolution business. So now's the time to resolve cases. They love saving the cost. Carriers love not paying defense counsel. They hate defense counsel's bills. So if they can resolve a case and get rid of it, it's the greatest thing. They're craving these settlements. You know, we could move on to number two of the things that you must know during this pandemic to get rid of these cases. There's no Calvary. There's no Calvary coming here. We touched upon it earlier. We are who you need to get rid of these cases. With reductions in the court personnel, the judiciary, and furloughs, the judges just don't have the time and aren't even there to 
to help you move your case along. As we know, the courts have been closed with very limited ability to get into court. We have a habitational premises program with Everest National. And at the beginning of this, they said to me, why don't you put 25 cases into a mediation and see how we do? We got rid of 24 out of 25 cases. Are you finding some, some um, resistance from some of the plaintiff attorneys? In other words, pushing for a trial or are most of them amenable into, into moving them a little bit earlier? You know what? Most of them really are amenable because I think everybody knows that there's going to be a big delay in getting that day at trial. Unfortunate for the, you know, the, the injured people, they really are not able to get an immediate trial right now. I think the plaintiff bar itself is also willing to expedite and move these things along. The third thing that you must know if you're going to be settling cases during this pandemic is DIY. Do it yourself. Get it done. Now more than ever, the emphasis on, is on the individual attorneys, both plaintiffs and defendants, to focus on resolving cases. I find that mediation submissions are a critical part and should be done while mediating a case. It's your chance to get there before the mediator and let them know what your position is. Everyone has to take responsibility. It's on you to move these cases. You have to do it yourself. We have, just like with yourself in your office, we have various relationships with many offices where we'll call up and we say, hey, we got eight cases. we got 12 cases. Let's do a mediation day. Let's put on our cases. And we've been very successful with Saks, Subin, Block and O'Toole, various offices, Wingate's office in doing that. I know, the, I, I know them all very well. Wingate's, um, uh, Subin, I know them all well. Do you think this is the new normal, Jeff? Do you think that this is going to be the way we go forward? Less trials? you know, more dispute resolution where we're kind of getting together and just let's move this. What do you think? I really do. And I see that and I agree with you fully. You know, many years ago, um, I interned for Judge Donson. And he was one of the first mediators. And I was like, wow, this is a great thing. You take it out of the judicial forum and you get to a, an independent private mediation service. And 25, 30 years later, here we are. And we're seeing what's going on. And especially with what's going on in the judiciary, I think this is the future. You know what I want to ask you? Let's say somebody's watching now. There's a plaintiff's attorney who's watching, wants to move some cases. They have them with your, with your firm, with your carrier. How do they go about it? Do they reach out to you? Do they reach out to the carrier? Do they reach out to the judge? Is it all free? All of it works. Our doors are always open. They can contact me, our office, anytime. And we are interested in moving those cases and we will get those mediation days set. Is there a particular threshold in terms of uh, money or are there all cases? Doesn't matter. Well, we've settled cases in mediation from legitimately $7,500 to $25 million. Right, we don't have too much time. Give me another tip. Give me something else. Okay, number four, you can't think, you must know. Is it too early to settle? No, never. It's never too early to settle. We have a program with American Empire construction program. They come in quarterly and we settle cases pre-deposition, seven figure settlements, pre-depositions. You just gotta get the facts, gather some medicals and you could value a case. It is never too early. Don't let a demand push you off, get rid of it. Uh, by the way, just so we know, just so we get you, where do we find you? Just so, we, so the uh, viewers understand that. You can always get Jeff Miller at email, which is jmiller at PMT, Peter Mary Tom Law Firm .com, or our website, www.pmtlaw.com. Okay, final tip before I let you go. So, um, someone's watching, they want to move a case, they're not sure what to do. What do you say? Call up, get proactive, keep it moving. These people want to settle cases. The carriers have money for you, they're looking to get rid of their oldest cases. There's nothing too early, there's nothing too late. It's not like a fine wine. They will not get better with age. I guarantee you that. Get rid of your cases now. Hillinger Miller, Jeff Miller, I wanna thank you very much for being here. As usual, you guys are great. Hopefully you come back in the next couple of weeks and let us know how the program's going. What do you say? Your team and Yesenia, thanks for having us. Thank you very much and stay safe.